Welcome, I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com and in this GNU Cash Quick Start tutorial, I will show you how to set up the GNU Cash Business Accounting Files. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's begin. With GNU Cash newly installed on your computer, which I assume it is, it's time to set up your business accounts or what is referred to in accounting terms as the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts is what you will use to enter your business income and expenses. The GNU Cash business account setup is done in two parts. In the first part you will set up the business accounts and in the second part you will name your file and create a folder to hold the files. To begin, open up the program by clicking on the GNU Cash icon on your desktop. Each time you start a new cache, you will notice the tip of the day appears. Simply click on the close tab to close it out. There are a couple of different ways you can set up the business accounts in GNU Cash. You can start with the GNU Cash new accounts wizard, or you can build your accounts manually. For simplicity, we will use the GNU Cash new accounts wizard to access the pre built business accounts. Click on File on the menu bar and when the File menu opens, click on New File. This will start the New Account Hierarchy Setup Wizard. The first screen gives you a general overview of the setup wizard. Click on the Next button to move to the next screen. On the New Book Options screen, you can simply click on Next to move to the next screen. On the Choose Currency screen, by default, US Dollars is selected. If U.S. currency is your desired currency, click Next to continue. If U.S. currency is not your desired currency, click on the drop-down arrow and when the menu opens, select your currency from the list of options. Then click Next to continue. On the Choose Accounts to Create screen, you are presented with various accounts by default. Common Accounts is selected. But since we want to set up an account for a business, you have to deselect the common accounts so that we can choose a different account. And to do that, you have to click on the check mark next to common accounts to remove the check mark from the check box. Next, run your mouse pointer along the bottom corner of the dialog box until you see the scroll bar appear. Then hold down the left side of your mouse while you scroll up until you find the business accounts. Then click on the box next to business accounts to select it. A check mark should appear indicating this is the active account you are selecting. On the right hand side you can see the pre-built business accounts GNU Cash designed specifically for small businesses. Click on the finish button to move to the next screen. If for any reason you feel you need to go back or start over, you can use the back key or cancel to start over. Otherwise, click on apply to finish up this part of the setup. In this next step of the business account setup, you will name your accounting file and create a folder to hold the files. This next step is crucial because GNU Cash generates a lot of files and if this step is not done properly, those files will end up outside of the folder and all mixed up in your files in your documents folder. Which I know that's not what you want. But when done right, your files will be saved and organized into the folder you specifically created to hold your GNU Cash accounting files. Let's begin. Make sure your documents folder on the left hand side is highlighted by clicking on it, indicating this is the active folder where your files and folder will be saved. Enter a name for your accounting file in the name field text box above. I will enter Personal Touch, which is the name of the business in this example. Next, click on the file icon located on the right hand side. Here is where you will create the folder to hold your GNU Cash accounting files. Enter a name for your folder into the text box provided. I will name my folder Business Files. It is very important that you click on the Create button to create the folder, otherwise the folder will not be created. And what I mentioned previously about the files all ending up mixed in with your Documents folder will be a reality. Now if done correctly, you should see the Documents folder tab and next to it 
On the right hand side you should see the name of your new folder you just created. Now scroll down and click on the Save As tab. The file and the folder are saved and the business account screen opens with your new set of business accounting files and you should see your file and your folder in your documents folder. And on the title tab you should see the name of your new file. You can close out a GNU cache at any time by selecting file on the menu bar and when the file menu opens scroll down and select quit.